Hello there friends and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf here in the town of Lorien. We are here on this gray and rainy day with Mayor Merrily, who has a few things to do today, but we're also gonna just walk around town and see what happens. We are gonna start out in our house though because we have a couple of things we need to get done over there, including checking in with Wisp and checking our mail. So I've already pulled a few things out of the mailbox. And let's see what we got here. Oh, we've got a letter from our mom. Let's see what she's saying. Darling Mary Lee, I hear your home is expanding. Use this to fill some of your new space. I'm proud of you, mom. Aw, did we get a home expansion? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Wait, did we pay off another loan? Oh my goodness, that's pretty bad that I don't even know. All right, we're gonna toss that letter. See what mom sent us. A lovely vanity. Oh, that's very sweet. Okay, we had Gulliver on the beach again yesterday. He was on his way to Kenya, spreading my wings. I made some friends here and they told me to give you this cool item since they thought you'd like it. We'll try to not sell it this time <laughs> like we did last time with the little doll from Mexico. That's so bad. Okay, let's see. What did he send? A tribal mask. Okay, very interesting. We'll have to see what that looks like. Looks like Pietro sent us something. I'm really sorry for coming over so suddenly the other day. Oh, that's right. He came over to our house. I figured I'd send this as a way to apologize. I wonder if it'll be a good fit for your collection. I hope so. With love, Pietro. And he sent us... A Rococo chair. Very cool. We just took our Rococo cabinet that Wisp gave us a while back and got Cyrus to recolor it to the white color. Oh right, we have a letter from Wishy the Star. I've actually been holding on to this for like a week. It was probably in our pocket during the last episode and I totally forgot to look in here. I saw you making wishes on shooting stars from up here. Your wish. Oh yes, I know what it was. Let me grant that wish of yours from Wishy the Star. Let's see what Wishy the Star sent. An eight lamp. Okay, we can put it with our two. <laughs> we can have a 28 or an 82. That'll be fun. All right, let's see what else is in here. Hopefully it's only three more letters. Yep. And these, I think, should be from an RV camper we went to yesterday. We ordered some fun stuff from B, the little dog. She's so cute. Let's see what we got from her. I'm going to go ahead and open all, all of these and we'll look at them all at once. And I think one of the things we want to do today is uh, buy another room at the museum. And uh, we're going to put the pave set up there in the museum to get it out of our storage. Because that is taking up a lot of space that we don't have <laughs> to spare. Okay, so we got a little menu chalkboard, which is really cute. A natural wood floor, which we're gonna replace in the house just now when we go in. So we can have the pave floor for our museum room. And a little bread making set, and it's so cute. I don't know if we're gonna have space to put all of these things out right now, but I'll at least try to show them to you. Okay, and I spent some time last night over on Tortimer's Island playing some games. We were able to get enough medals to get this cool mermaid screen. So we've got that in the house now too. Our house is such a mishmash of stuff right now. <laughs> All right, before I forget, let's go ahead and get our meow coupons from Wisp today. And he's going to give us a fun item. So I have an amiibo here uh, for us to call up. I don't think we've used this one yet. Oh, I should have turned the camera a little better. It's Rosie. I'm totally honored you wanted me to be here. Are you so psyched right now? Whoa, do I sound just like Rosie or what? So tell me, what is it you wish for? Give me something. <laughs> All right, let's see what I have for you right now. I've got it. Please accept a polka dot table. Fun. We got a polka dot stool, I think, from Wisp the other day. So now we've got a table to go with it. We're, we're gonna have to buy all those rooms at the museum and start putting this stuff out. 
All right, so five more Meow coupons. We're starting to get a pretty good collection, but we've been spending them pretty good too. So <laughs> um, that's why we got to make sure we talk to Wisp every day and get those in. All right, let me show you these cool little items that we got from B. Um, let's see. The little menu chalkboard. It says tea time. It's got little cakes on it. It's so cute. Totally adorable. And then the other thing is this little bread making set, which is totally cute too. It's got little eggs and milk and flour and a little rolling pin. So adorable. Oh, it's always so hard with those campers to decide which items to get. But let's go ahead and put down this floor that we got from her too. I think that's going to look nice with our alpine wall and our alpine furniture set once we get some of it. And by the way, guys, look at all the stuff we have on the walls. This was this blue shelf up here was the one that I found at Nooks the other day. Some of these we've gotten from Wisp. Some of them we've gotten from Nooks. We've added a cuckoo clock over here. <laughs> Just lots of fun things that we keep picking up from Nooks. And this is like our only room right now, so I don't know what our mom was talking about with the house expansion, unless that's been sitting in our mailbox for a while too and we just haven't checked it. So mom sent us a lovely vanity, which is super cute, whoops. Can we put stuff on top of that? Um, let's see if we can put the eight lamp on it. We got the tribal mask, the Rococo chair. I want to see what that looks like too. See, now we have a ton of things to look at. Okay, um, can we put this on it? No, I guess we can't put anything on that. Okay. Or if we can, it wasn't any of those things. All right, we're, we're getting this so filled up in here. Um, we might have to just go on up to the museum and put some of the stuff in up there. All right, there's the eight. Now we have a two and an eight. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do with those, but it's fun. Okay, so yeah. Ooh, the other thing, guys, is um, we have two gold nuggets in our pocket. And when I went and talked to Cyrus yesterday about changing that Rococo wardrobe, he um, also said he could do something with the gold. He said if we brought him three gold nuggets, he could make us a piece of gold furniture. So we're gonna grab a third gold nugget and we're gonna take those over to Cyrus. I'm gonna try to go ahead, well, no, we'll keep the stuff in our pockets. We're gonna try to put it out up in one of the museum rooms. We might take this mermaid screen up there too. <laughs> There's just too many things. All right, I am gonna leave the eight lamp here though. Where did it go? Um, but we will be able to take things in and out of there as we need to. So I think kind of using those rooms as a bit of storage that we can actually see right now might be helpful. But we do also want to check and see how much we still owe on our house, on our current loan. So maybe we can uh, get another upgrade and start making some more room in our house for some of this actual stuff. All right, and guys, I took all those flower seeds from up by the... Uh, train station and I just planted them right here. I put them around this pond. It was kind of closed off with the path. Oop. We've got a fossil here. We want to check in with our villagers today too. I feel like I've been neglecting our villagers a little bit. So we want to make sure we talk to them today and just enjoy this rain because rainy days in Animal Crossing are Lovely. Okay, I just saw somebody over here. It's Allie. This is her house, by the way. She's just hanging out outside her house. Isn't it just awful, Marilee? It's raining all over my lovely day, Tulip. You don't like the rain, Allie? <laughs> Was there something you wanted, Tulip? I want to chat. Did you hear about the fishing tourney this Saturday? Oh, no, I didn't. If you want to win, you better start fishing now. You didn't hear that from me, okay? Start fishing now. Wait, you mean we gotta save up? <laughs> we gotta save up the fish? Oh no, our pockets are full already. Okay. We're, I guess we better go up to the museum first then and come back and talk to our villagers later. We need to get some of this out of our pockets. Ooh, I guess if it's raining all the uh, withered flowers are getting watered, which is good too. 
Oh, look, we got another mushroom. That's fun. This is so cool. Do mushrooms always appear around stumps in this game? I Oh, I can't put my <laughs> shovel away. That's, um... That's really cool. So you can get them outside of fall time, apparently. That's really fun. All right, let's head up to the museum. I feel like I always stay so busy in this game. We're going to check in with Pelly first and see how much we still owe on our current loan. Before we go spending all of our bills. Select from the following options. Repay loan. Ooh, we still owe quite a bit. <laughs> all right, well, um... Let's put, let's go ahead and put 50,000. So we still have 238,000. We are gonna have to start trying to make some money. Oh, and guys, we might have to make a second trip up to the museum. I think we have some things down in the box at the dock that need to come up here to Blathers too. Blathers? Okay, let's see. Oh, what is this? Interesting. <laughs> We're gonna have to check that out. Let's wake up Celeste. Oh dear me. I do beg your pardon. I was just resting my eyes. Welcome to Lorian's personal exhibit and gift shop floor. Would you like to talk about the personal exhibit spaces? I need more space. Um, we would like number three. I don't know which one number three is, but, but I like odd numbers, so that's what we're going with. The rental fee for a personal exhibit space is 10,000 bells. Is that okay? Sure. All right, I've received the 10,000 bells. Let me open the door to the exhibit room for you. So is it going to be on the same side as number one? No, it's the other top one. Okay, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and get some of this stuff out of our pocket. Oh, do we want to put the pave set in this one? We'll put the rug down. And then we're just going to have to start displaying some of this stuff. There's the tribal mask. There's the, ooh, the Rococo chair. Very fancy. Uh, our mermaid screen. It's just going to be kind of a random collection at the moment. We got the polka dot table. Oh, that's so cute. Our lovely vanity. Oh, can't put it there. Lovely vanity. Um, oh, we can put that bread making set on the table probably. And there's the little tea time sign, which is so cute. Put that there until we have a spot for it in our house. This is <laughs> this is just gonna be some storage for us, I think. All right, we're gonna just pull this over here in front of that, so we know they go together. And I think that's all we have at the moment to add in here. Uh, but let's go grab some of the pave furniture out of the storage, which we can access from these lockers right here, which is super handy. We just have to find where I put it. <laughs> oh yeah, Sphinx. That's what um, that's what Wisp gave me yesterday. We have our lily pad table, a few other odd things, <laughs> another Chihuahua. Here we go. Here's the pave stuff. Um, it's on C page five. Okay. So we, we can find it quick when we come back to get the rest. All right, let's put this down. And we're just going to kind of place it down for now and, um, you know, fix it up a little bit later when we have less other stuff in here. Oh, we got to look for the wall too. The pave wall. All right, we'll get that clock up there. Oh, and now we get the TikTok. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. We have a bookshelf. Okay, let's turn that around. So we do want to be able to see stuff. What else do we have here? Closet. Oh yeah, the Sphinx. <laughs> uh, let's put the sofa down. Ah, don't sit on it. <laughs> um, actually... 
Let's see. I want to pull this up one. We are going to arrange it a little bit, I guess. Apparently, <laughs> I was just going to throw it down, but now I can't. <laughs> um, okay, so we got a closet there. We got a bed here. An end table. That'll be perfect there. We'll put the bed down this end. Um, right where you come in the door. How about that? Um, we need to move this over, I think. Turn it this way. There we go. Alright, it'll just go there for now. Uh, we can put the closet... Oops, that's the Sphinx. There. And we'll put the Sphinx here. Are we ever going to need a Sphinx? I don't know. But we'll hold on to it just in case. <laughs> All right, let's go look at C5. Get the rest of this pave stuff out of our storage. C5. Pave table. Pave lamp. Bureau. Another lamp. <laughs> let's see. Oh, there's another end table. Bunch of balloon stuff. Um, where did we put the... Have a wall though. There it is. Wow, we have a lot of those little gems saved up in the storage too. We have to take some more of those by to uh, Cyrus and see if he can do anything else with them. Let's put one of the lamps there. Oh, that brightened it up in here. Nice. Put the wall up. Much better. And what else did we have? Another end table. We have the big table. Let's see. Let's put the other lamp just here. And I think if we put the big table here, we'll still have room to squeeze through there. And then what was the last one? The bureau. And I think that's actually like a little vanity, so I'm going to set it this way. Yeah, super cute. Okay, so we have taken care of that. We can sell this wall and floor because we are not going to need it. So we're done here for the moment. But I do want to find out what this thing is, so we're going to have to wake Celeste up again. Wake up. Yep, you were resting your eyes, I know. A thermohygrometer. Okay. I'd recommend using it either in a room in your home or an exhibit room here at the museum. 1500 bells. I don't know what a thermohygrometer is. <laughs> but we're going to buy it anyway because it sounds really cool. Okay, and what are these? A museum wall. No, we're not going to get that right now. So this is probably a museum floor. I think mostly when we've looked at this, it's been, yeah, museum wall or museum floor. So we don't need any of those right now. All right, let's go stick this thermohygrometer or whatever it was in this room. <laughs> we're just going to put it... Um, can we put it on the table here? Thermohygrometer. I'm gonna have to look that up and see what that even is. A thermohygrometer is designed to be able to measure both air temperature and humidity. So there you go. Air temperature and humidity. Taken care of. <laughs> that is a really interesting item to have in this game. <laughs> that would go really good in like a science lab or something. Okay, Blathers, we do have one fossil but we're not gonna bother you with it now. We'll wait until we find the rest. We're coming back out into the rain. Oh wait, does, um, hold on. I think that we actually have, yeah, we have an umbrella. We'll carry our umbrella. We got a cute little umbrella. Just put that in our storage for now. Aw, cute little umbrella. It's like a little picnic blanket umbrella. <laughs> I think I might have just enough play coins to buy one fortune cookie. We're not going to buy any of that, but look at this! What a cool item! A volleyball net? <laughs> Super cute! 
It's interesting some of the items that they choose to put in this game when they know you can only use them inside. Excuse me, Lyman. Actually, we should talk to you, Lyman, because we're trying to talk to our villagers today. Hey, hey, Mayor Lee. Fancy meeting you here, bud. So what's up, lady bro? We got another, another one calling us lady bro. How's it going? Did you find what you're looking for? I haven't found anything yet. Ooh, what is that horrible thing on the wall? Yuck. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We're gonna get one of these. Fortune cookie. Yes, please. I don't know if we'll ever get anything as cool as the Master Sword, but as long as it's not another Chihuahua. <laughs> there was a fortune inside. Let's see. You will soon be visited by a mustachioed man. Number two. Okay, let's talk to Tommy. Had to wait and see which one this was. We offer a personalized catalog. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got a lucky ticket. We'll exchange it. I'm assuming the mustachioed man is Mario. Number two. A block floor. Wait, didn't we get that already too? We're getting a lot of doubles in these. Try again. Yes, we'll have to do some more walking first. <laughs> Okay, let's stop into Abel's. Do we have anything cute today? Since we just opened some space in our storage. Oh, what is this little pink dress? Red dress. Well, it's pretty cute. We'll take it. You know what? We might even wear it today because when it's rainy, it kind of makes me feel like it's a little bit cool out. So it's got the long sleeves. That is super cute! Oh yeah, okay. It's always fun getting some new clothes. There's a Mario hat. Um, but nope, we don't need any of that. Okay, and we're not gonna look at shoes. We have too many shoes already. We have so many, so many shoes. All right, let's talk to Tangy. Tangy, what do you think of these mushrooms, friend? <laughs> oh, all this rain, it's just awful, don't you think, Marilee? What do you wanna talk about? I wonder why all the villagers hate the rain so much. I keep hearing people say you're like totally a green thumb. I'm way jealous that you're the center of attention right now. That's supposed to be my job. Oh, sorry, Tangy. We'll, we'll start being worse at gardening, okay? <laughs> uh, we actually, we need to hit our rocks today and see if we can get some more bells since we spent so many. Watch out for flying dirt there, Tangy. <laughs> we don't want to get you dirty. Let's see, here's one. I'm, I'm starting to learn where all our rocks are around town. Every time I think I know, then I seem to be missing one. <laughs> but we have one. Oh! Ah, pitfall for the day. I really do like this little pink dress. It's so cute. Or I called it a red dress, didn't it? It looks pink to me. Not that one. And I love the little sloshy sound when you're walking around. It's so so fun on rainy days in Animal Crossing. All right, let's. Um, there should be a rock here. Not that one. I think there's one down here. Oh, we got a weed. Oh, and another weed. Oh, I see a rock there. That might actually be the fake rock. Yep. There's one fake rock every day that's got a gem in it. All right, let's, um, while we're right here, let's talk to Cyrus with our gold nuggets and see if we can get those out of our pocket. This will be very interesting. Cyrus. So I, I guess he's awake, like if you have something that he can do. Yo, Mary Lee, what can I do for you, Squirt? I have a project for you. Oh, a project, you say? I'll be the judge of that. Let me see if you got anything that stands out to me. Ho ho, you got something good. Can I take a closer look? Oh, I guess we can only choose one. Oh, you managed to dig up a gold nugget? Way to go, Squirt. 
If you bring me about three of them and 10,000 bells, I can make you some golden shiny furniture. Yes, we have it. All right, Squirt, hand over those three gold nuggets then. All right then, leave the rest to me. It'll take about 30 minutes, so go kill some time and come back later. All right, so we'll come back at the end of the episode and find out what Cyrus has made for us because he didn't ask us any questions about what we want. So I guess it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> Something else we can put up in the museum room, room while we slosh around in this sloshy, soggy day. Oh, here's another rock. That's not it. I would get the umbrella. Actually, we'd get our umbrella back out. Who's home over here? Anybody? You're, wait, this house doesn't have a chimney. How are we supposed to tell if they're home or not? <laughs> Harry's Harry's house does not have smoke coming out. Oh, that's Skye's house. Hello. Walks in the rain are good for the body and soul. Finally, someone who appreciates the rain. Thank you, Skye. So what's on your mind? Let's chat. I hear the in bug this season is the pill bug. It sure is neat looking. I would love to have my own. Would you go out and catch one for me? We'll try. We just missed one, actually. <laughs> well, that's great. I can't wait to see it. All right, we'll try to remember that Sky wants a pill bug. Let's see. We should have another rock over here. Oh, yeah. I planted a hydrangea bush here. And then I was going to plant another one on the other side, and but I accidentally put it in the storage. So we might have to, if we remember to get that out, we might have to plant that other one later. It's a pink hydrangea. And I thought that maybe we could start decorating the outside of our little town hall here a little bit. All right, there's a rock over here, and then there's one up by Allie's house, and I think that's the last two. Oh, <laughs> I think it's so funny that you can sit on the rocks in this one. And I do it with this one all the time. Okay, it's not that one, so it's got to be this one up by Allie's house. That's Lyman's house. We already talked to Lyman up in uh, town. But we're going to have to move this flower. Here we go. We should probably start planting some flowers around the villager houses. Dress them up a little bit. Oh, we didn't get our eighth one. Sometimes I get it. I think I got it yesterday. That's too slow today. Now we're gonna have to be filling in all our holes while we walk around. Oh, we should have sold some stuff to Reese while we were in there too. We definitely have some stuff to sell. And I'm not gonna try to pick up all this fruit. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not gonna try to pick up all this fruit. Uh, with so much stuff in our pockets because it will just take forever. Let's see here. Fill that back in. Okay. A little sloshy sound. So I have doubled up this path in a few places. Do you guys think it looks okay doubled up like that? Just some of those dream addresses we went to. The I just think the double wide paths look so much nicer. Uh, in most places than the single ones. We may keep single ones somewhere. Oh, here's another one. I guess we'll be ready to go see Blathers again. Oh, and let's see who's in our campsite. That is Joan, I believe. And we don't need anything else from Joan. <gasps> we 100% need that little duck, though. So you're interested in my decoy duck? I suppose I could let that go for five meow coupons. Okay. That's a lot, Harv, but we'll do it. <laughs> All right, you know what? We're going to, um, we're going to see if the little birds come out in the rain. Oh, wait a minute. We don't have any room in our pockets. Oh, no. All right. Well, we can't feed the birds right now. <laughs> we don't have space to get out our little beans. We better run by our house and then go sell some stuff. <laughs> Always so much to do. I do like having all these flowers around the pond. I think that's super cute. If we can get another, um, like, close it in down here and add some more. all So it's flowers all the way around. I think that'll look really pretty. Oh, Cole, hello. 
I smell an emerald. It's yours, isn't it? How'd you know? <laughs> Are you kidding? I've been looking for one of those forever. Want to trade it for my sweet, sweet red grid shirt? Ooh, Cole. You know what? We're gonna do it just because we're, we're trying to get friendship with everyone. There's no point waiting around. Let's do this. Now that we found out that you can get villager photos in New Leaf. Thanks a million, my guy. Um, oh, he's got like the little ghost umbrella. <laughs> Super cute. All right, let's go in and throw away this pitfall. Ooh, and once we get our pockets empty, guys, we should go ahead and pick up that fruit and sell it and see if we can pay off our campsite today. Because we started that public works project and it needs to be paid off. Also, I'm very, very disappointed and very, very sad because I planted two blue hydrangeas in these spots next to the flowers here and they did not grow, neither one of them. So we're gonna put our little rock patterns back because I guess, I guess bushes aren't gonna grow there. I was so sad because now we lost our two blue hydrangeas that we had. Pietro, how are you doing? Hey, good afternoon, Cookie. It's going to just keep raining on us until night, isn't it? Don't answer, I know. So, something up? What's the latest? Oh, that's right, the other day I talked to Reb from Felix. Let's see, she seemed like she was a world traveler. Definitely a cool person to meet. If you have the chance someday, you should stay up all night talking and laughing with her. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, Reb is uh, from Reb's Cozy Gaming. She's one of the ones that came over and played games with us a few weeks ago, which was super fun. And uh, apparently Pietro was impressed. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, what are, what are we trying to do here? We got to go sell some stuff to... Oh, we should fill in our holes too. We gotta go sell some things to Reese, and then when we have room in our pockets, we'll go grab our stuff out of the basket on the dock and go back up to Blathers. Oh, well, we talked to Sky. Oh, fill in these holes. Not try and leave a mess around town. It just helps us remember which rocks we've already hit. Oh, hello there. Welcome. Can I help you? I want to sell. Let's see, we have these exhibit room floor and wall. We're gonna sell the block floor because that's not one we're ever gonna use. We're gonna get rid of the red grid shirt, but we're keeping the decoy duck. Oh wait, why do we have a red flower in our pocket? Yeah, plant that back outside. 515 bells, that doesn't seem like much. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I guess um, we'll actually see how much we end up with from the fossils and stuff that we take to Blathers before we go and pick up all that fruit. I mean, we're going to have to pick it up at some point, but we're just trying to get enough right now to pay off our campsite so we can get that going and get another public works project started because public works projects are fun and also kind of hard to say public works project now that I'm actually remembering the name of them <laughs> okay we have a few things in here we have a jewel beetle a monarch butterfly and a sunfish that we caught over on the other island let's go Talk to Blathers. Oh, look, guys, we got a pink lily. Aw, so pretty. Wait, where did that come from? From these red and white ones? Cool. Yay, we're starting to get a few hybrids around. There's another orange pansy there. I'm excited. We've seen so many colors of flowers in the dreams that we've gone to. We need to start researching how to get some of those hybrids because I saw blue violets. Um, we've got the pink roses, gold roses. We've seen blue pansies, um, lots of black flowers, pink flowers, orange flowers, all the flowers. We need to, we need to start working on actually getting some of those on purpose. <laughs> Alright, we need to assess some fossils first. We have four. Let's take a closer look. 
do believe I've found something that's not yet part of our collection. It's really most stunning. <laughs> okay. Well, it's all yours, Blathers. We have some other stuff to donate, too, actually. If you don't mind. Some creepy crawlies. And a fish. A nice big sunfish. Okay, so the Diplo Hip is the one that we can... Oh, and I guess we've already given him a monarch, so we don't need to donate that one. Let's take a look. Gladly take these off your hands. Okay, and I kind of want to go peek at the sunfish. And see what it looks like in this version. We got some crabs in there. Some little clams. Oh, you can't really you can't really see them very well. All right, ocean sunfish must be in here. Oh yeah, there it is. Cool. Oh, Bob's in here. Bob, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, Cookie. Funny running into you here, cool cat. So anyway, what's up? I wonder what the fish think when they see me. They're probably like, that's so weird how he walks around on legs instead of swimming. You're probably right, Bob. <laughs> yeah, that ocean sunfish looks really cool. Look at him go. He's a slow one. We got some little zippy guys over here. That's cool how we can turn the view all the way around. I think we might have donated that sea, um, seaweed too. Or kelp, I guess it is in this game. We have anybody in here yet? We got one one little pond smelt there. <laughs> and a couple guys over here. Barbell steed, the carp. Is that a cherry salmon? No. What is that one? Oh, it is a cherry salmon. Cool. I don't even remember catching that. <laughs> it would be cool if you could donate fish to like other people's museums when you go visit. Wouldn't that be fun? You could be looking at your museum display and be like, wait, how did a shark get in there? And then you'd look and it'd be like, donated by Reb from Felix. <laughs> and that would just be funny. Okay, I don't think we need anything else on Main Street. So we have a few more things to sell to Reese. And then we'll see how close we are to paying off our campsite. I'm so happy that there's more little mushrooms there. But we need to see if we can get a pill bug out of one of these rocks too for sky and I'm not seeing one let's try this one over here I don't know if you can get them after like a second hit of the day no pill bug okay go back to our umbrella and look our new dress matches our umbrella too we're so cute <laughs> We'll see, there's no new messages on the board. All right, let's go talk to Reese. See what we get for these fossils. We didn't even see what fossils they were. A shark tooth, a dimetrodon skull, and a tricera skull. That should get us something. More than 515 bells. Can I help you? I wanna sell. Okay, we'll give her the monarch butterfly. And that stuff we were keeping, right? 12,000, that's much better. I think we're gonna need more than that though, so we'll probably have to gather the fruit. Let's go check it out. Lloyd, oh, <laughs> we're just gonna swirl our little umbrella. Good afternoon. Hey, contribute to a campaign to fund a campsite. Our target fund is 59,800 bells. We've collected 1,294 bells so far, courtesy of our other villagers. Thank you very much. We're only 58,506 bells away. Okay. We will give you 34,000. Which means we're going to need another 24,506. All right, let's see what this fruit gets us. And then, if that's not enough, we're going to have to come up with um, <laughs> something else to make some money really quick. Mm 
I'm just gonna drop off this dress that we had on before. Oh, I didn't show you the little dollhouse either. This was another gift from Wisp. He gave us a little pink dollhouse. Super cute. It's so fun talking to Wisp every day and just like, he gives you such random things. Okay, let's go down to the dress section. And I think we have it all filled up with shoes now. <laughs> so we're just going to go in section B, I guess, and put our dress in here. What was this? Oh, yeah, our decoy duck. We don't have... We don't have anywhere to display him right now, so he's gonna have to go in the in the cabinet for the moment. We have such a little <laughs> mess of stuff in here, but I kind of love it actually. All right, let's go pick up our fruit. Actually, we have a couple of baskets of durian fruit. Oh. There's more fruit on the trees. Cool. We can shake that down. So we might be good then. Alright, let's start stacking this up. There's gonna be a lot of stacking. Let's go ahead and shake down the rest of this. <laughs> Lots of lychees and lemons. We have some mangoes over here too. But oh, it'll be super fun to have a campsite, won't it? Um, I'm assuming that it works similar to how it works in New Horizons where random villagers show up. You can tell me if I'm wrong because <laughs> I've never had a camper in this game yet. This will be our our first time, and then um, you can probably invite them to move in. How many campers? How many campers? How many villagers do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have all ten of our villagers. The tenth one, Harry, moved in here from Moriland when we went for a visit last week. Let's see. I feel like... I think we had Harry in our city folk town at one point, too. Whoops. And he moved away from Mirkwood to the city folk version of Moriland. So it's kind of... It's kind of fair. We just took him back in a different game. <laughs> okay, so the more of these we get stacked up, the more we have to keep stopping and stacking them because... With less room in our pockets to pick things up. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I'm so glad that these stack because this would take forever otherwise. Because Reese's shop is way on the other side of the town. I almost said island and caught myself. Alright, just a few more mangoes. <laughs> I keep swirling that umbrella. It's pretty cute that you can do that and that all the little drips fly off everywhere. <laughs> okay, I think we collected all of the fruit and I was actually going to look down here because I think we have like two baskets of durian sitting down here. And I don't know how many are in these. Six and seven. So we're gonna we're gonna drop this basket again, but we don't need to we don't need that many durians. And we also know where we can get more. Um, they've been sitting there forever and I haven't even planted them yet. <laughs> like a bad little gardener. So we're getting misguided compliments from our villagers. But I did want to wait until we got some paths in so we knew like where we wanted the trees. I think it's better to put the trees around the paths than the paths around the trees. And we have had to cut a few down so far. Alright, we're gonna sell all of these. Is it 24,000 bells? Ooh, 15,000. Okay, how can we make another 9,000 bells? 
Oh, and speaking of Harry again, when I went in Reese's yesterday, Harry bought the black katana that we had up for sale for like 7,000 bells, I want to say. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> we made some money from that. All right, what else can we do? You know what? Let's run over really quickly. I think the best way to get some more bells is going to be run over to the Cap'n Island. Like, so quickly. And gather the fruit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have some bananas. It's not going to be 9,000 worth, though. Let's gather up our seashells. And our bananas. And see how close that gets us. Before we make the whole trek over to Cap'n's Island. Because uh, we're actually pretty close to an hour now. And I don't know if we're going to have time to do that. I guess if we hurry, it won't take that much time. But let's just see if we can do it from here in our own town. And maybe we can make a visit to Cap'n's Island in the next episode. Oh, because I wanted to uh, I wanted to go to a random dream too. So yeah, we're going to have to just go with what we go with. If we don't pay the thing off today, then we just won't pay it off today. That'll be all right. We're not necessarily in a hurry. Too much. <laughs> Except that we just want a campsite because it's exciting. All right, we can carry one more right now. And we'll pick these bananas up when we come back because we're going to want to pick those up first and stack them before we start um, putting a bunch of other stuff in our pocket too. I'm going to go ahead and run up here and shake these down too. Oh, actually, that's going to take too much time. I think there's one more banana tree, like, way up there at the end. But we'll go empty these and then come right back. Okay, we're up to 18,000 now. So let's come gather up our bananas. And finish grabbing these seashells and see... If it's going to do it for us, <laughs> 5,000 more bells I think we need. No, 7,000? I don't know. We need a lot. Alright, let's grab these bananas. And get those stacked up in our pocket. Grab some more seashells. We actually, we should bring some more bananas over. Can you plant the durian trees on the beach? Maybe we'll try planting a durian tree down here and see if we can get those down here too. Because I don't honestly think that those are the prettiest trees. <laughs> but they, they don't have the palm leaves, so I guess they probably won't plant down here. Well, if we make an orchard or something, we will... Put the durians at the back <laughs> so we don't have to see them. Isn't that terrible? All right. Um, hold on. If we put our watering can away for a minute, we can grab this last seashell. <laughs> we don't need the watering can today because it's raining. A lovely rain. I'm really liking this red dress that we got. We're finally getting some cute stuff in Abel's, which is super good. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty plain, but it's super cute. All right, Allie. I think we did end up talking to most of our villagers today. I didn't see Harry anywhere, though. Okay, let's see what we get for this. Four thousand eight hundred and ninety. Oh, we're like a thousand bells short. Okay, we can make a thousand bells. All right, what is this? What is this, Cyrus? <laughs> oh, Marilee, the golden man you ordered is all ready to go. It's sitting over there, so go pick it up and take it home ASAP. I mean, that's pretty interesting. How do I grab it? Take home the golden man. Take it home. I guess we have a golden man now. <laughs> He's totally going in the museum. Okay, guys, how can we make a thousand bells really quick? What do we have in our storage that we can sell or something? Wait a minute. A hundred. Couldn't we just get like ten oranges? Wouldn't that. Oh, wait, we have pears. 
We have pears. Oh no, we lost one. <laughs> oh no. Um, but I think... Yeah, aren't the, the oranges should be worth 100 each. So that's 300. We gotta pay off this campsite. We can't get a thousand bells away and not pay it off. I mean, that's just... We got to. You know what? I think actually... That elegant mushroom over there is probably worth a fair amount, but I don't want to pick our little mushroom. It's too cute. So once we get the campsite in, we'll have to do some decorating over here with trees and flowers to make the campsite look nice. All right, how many oranges? Oh, too many. <laughs> too many is the answer. Stack them. All right, that should be enough to get us over the thousand bells. Then we just won't have any left for anything else. <laughs> okay, 2200. Thank you very much, Reese. We have enough to pay off our campsite now, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go end things up with a random dream. A quick one. <laughs> We do have one more viewer submitted dream, but um, they were wanting a little bit of time to to make some adjustments and updates. So we're waiting a little bit closer to the, to April 8th before we look at that one. And if you guys have a New Leaf dream address that you would like to share, please check out the Discord link or the Instagram link in the description and send it to me so we can come and take a look at your town. Okay, 24506. Thanks to you, the fundraising target of 59,800 bells has been reached. Please look forward to the completed project. Yay! We do look forward to it. I'm so excited about having a campsite. Oh, wait. There's a weed back here. Get out of here, weed. <laughs> We're going to have to find a prettier path to go around it, too. For sure. Alright, let's get up here to the dream suite. We have an interest in a dream. Yes, we do. Ooh, good thing we have 500 bells left. <laughs> or that would have been awkward. Uh, we'll leave it up to you today, Luna. Alright, into our PJs. Here we go. Ooh, there's stuff. <laughs> Welcome to the world of dreams. Right now you're having a dream of a sleepy town called Metropolis. When you want to return to the real world, please lie down on this bed once more. Okay, let's check out Metropolis. What is all this stuff? Looks like they've dropped a lot of things down here. Nothing we can pick up. Lots of candy. I wonder if the last time they played was around uh, Spooky Day or something. Ooh, look at all these pretty bushes. See, we need to be doing something like this. I love the paths lined with the bushes. And they got a nice little street light here. And it's at night, so we can see the lights. We can see the moon and the stars. It's so pretty at night. Look at how the stars just sparkle and twinkle. I just love that. The sky in every Animal Crossing game is, like, so good. Each one has its own little charms. Okay, so we see some tropical fruit trees here, some orange trees, pear trees, ooh, perfect oranges. Got a little grown-up area here with some bamboo. Oh, they got a little custom code here with some sand and little bamboo leaves or something. Very cute with a brick bridge. Can we see who they're? Bianca, Hazel, Marshall, Ava, Curlos, Rasher. Oh, is it? Um, that's a rhinoceros, right? Rasher, Pierce, Tipper, and Daisy. So that's a pretty good array of villagers there. We've got Reese's over here. Close that back. Um, <laughs> they left some holes dug around here. I don't know. I just like feel like I need to fill them in. Got some more trees over here. Very nice. In interesting. Is this like a thing? This is the second time I've seen like seashells 
laid down on the ramp to the beach so that's that's interesting is that a thing that people did look at they've got their campsite surrounded by orange trees which is super fun <laughs> might be something to it gives you know gives your camper a little bit of privacy over here behind the houses this is a nice spot for a house Curlos lives right here by the waterfall I like this path they have see this is we I like having a path because this only takes up one space and you can make it as wide or as skinny as you want wherever you want and it still looks good got the nice uh, bushes lining it on either side Ava's house and see it doesn't look weird when it goes like from you know too wide to one or whatever it just it fits nicely oh Ava's got a little topiary over here and a little stump with a butterfly in it oh and looks like the reset center is right behind her house <laughs> next to the river that's fun oh and they got the weather station very cool does it work in a dream oops you can't open it from this side oh which side can you open it from oh let's see here looks like the weather's gonna stay nice cool I didn't know you could check the weather in a dream we've seen that a couple times and I didn't even try it <laughs> all right we got a cute little spot here with a bench and a clock right here next to oh we got Sonic the Hedgehog over here <laughs> tipper's house okay that one looks similar to Allie's house I think I like how the the lights are coming through those skinny little windows on the side oh we got an American flag over here that's fun Oh, and here's the player house. We'll have to remember to come back and look at it. But see, they've got seashells lining the path over here, too. That's really interesting to me. I didn't know that was a thing. And look, Lily of the Valley. We've got a perfect town situation. <laughs> Very cool. Look at all these hybrid flowers, pink roses, pink tulips. Here's our friend. Sonic 156. Raise a glass to freedom. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we got that little Sonic everywhere. Got a little tiki torch over here and another butterfly stump. Cute. So they've taken the path pretty far around everywhere. Got a little fountain here. Oh, I see two player houses actually. All right, we're going to try not to take super duper long here because I kind of forgot we were going to do this at the end. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick peek in the house. Going to have to do some fierce editing at the first half so we can see all of this look at that cool clock up there and they've got some villager photos looks like is that Keaton and Curlos uh, and some customized modern furniture oh look at this one so is this made with sapphires then because it's shiny I'm starting to learn that you know you you can make all this stuff with those little gems we've been finding oh they got the the link outfit over here with a rose in his mouth too cute what is this thing though what is seen cannot be unseen oh no what is this little thing on the uh looks like a little spinning top super cute uh, that's the first time i've seen that <laughs> They've got their little town tree clock over here and a golden trophy from the HHA. So definitely someone who's put some work in. We've got Bunny Day collection here. Very nice. What's this little thing? It's a new Nintendo 3DS. It comes with Animal Crossing Puzzle League. <laughs> nice. It's got... Oh, it's they've customized it with the little Sonic the Hedgehog on it. <laughs> That's what it is. I was like, what design is that? Okay, so they've got some pinball and some little arcade machines in here. Super fun. Oh, what's this? It's a Wii U console. It comes with Desert Island Escape. There goes my afternoon. And it's a black one. That's kind of cool. Very nice. All right, let's see what else they have. I think that's the first room we went into, so let's go to the right. I gotta find out where to get that Link costume just in case it requires the online. <laughs> we want to be able to get it. Oh, somebody's been making some bells because look at that. They've got the crown on display here uh, next to some of this gorgeous furniture from Gracie Grace and all of that is super duper expensive. Got another crown over here. The royal crown, I believe. Wow. Yeah, these, these people were making some bells for sure. And uh, we've got some music. They like the music. 
fun. <laughs> They didn't have a light in that room, though. <laughs> it was a little dark. I guess they had customized that modern furniture to match the Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, more villager photos. And these are like Ava and Daisy were some of the ones that live in the town right now. I see Tipper over there. Oh, they got Blanca. There's Rasher and Hazel. Yeah, so a lot of those are the villagers that live here now. Look at this. There's a golden house model from the HHA. So they must have done like all the upgrading. They've got one of the dinosaur models down here. We got the Pave set going on. And look at this. Is there a Pave album? What is that? The Samba. That's really cool. Oh, I see KK on there too. Okay. <laughs> awesome. That's a good thing to hang up in there. Oh, wait, we got some more photos over here. Isn't that Dawn and Resetti? Nice. And Marshall. And they've got their wisp lamp in here too. Can we do wisp in a dream? Getting things ready. Oh. Nope, he's not coming out. Okay. And then of course they've got all their little Nintendogs standing on the table for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I think that's the second time I've seen like all the Nintendogs up on a table. There's another little dino model. Um, they're, they're little misbehaving puppies. <laughs> Okay, quickly, let's go upstairs and downstairs. Sorry if we've gone over. Hey, look, it's a golden man <laughs> and a lot of other gold stuff. So I guess this is some of the other gold furniture we can look forward to if we find some more gold nuggets for uh, Cyrus to make us things with. Look at that gold cabinet. That's pretty fancy. Look how shiny it is. Pretend like nothing was seen. And I like this clock too. That's really cool. Wow. All of this stuff is so cool. Big golden room. Way to flex. <laughs> All right, let's head down. So I don't, like, is there a way to find out who the mayor's name is? All right, we got a little coffee station. We got a food buffet, a dessert cabinet, lots of Brewster gyroids and some little places to sit. Super cute. Looks like they might have been working on a second table. They got some stuff ready to put on it. There's a little jukebox in here. Making a little seaside cafe down here. Super cute. You just never really know what to expect when you walk into a basement. So it's like always a fun surprise. I think Sonic 156 is probably the mayor here. Uh, we'll see what the other player house looks like. Maybe it's all the way finished too. I mean, it does look like they did a lot of work on this town. Look at all these perfect oranges. Oh my goodness. And there's some persimmons. Oh, we got the little rose arch over here. Very cool. Okay, yeah, the second player is just in a tent, so they must have just started that. Uh, oh, they got the little planting places here. Doesn't look like they've used them. Another topiary. Very cool. Look at all the flowers. And I don't know how many of these flowers happen from... Oh, who's this? Lenny. <laughs> he looks happy. Um, how many of the flowers, uh, you know, kind of like they just let them grow wherever and hadn't really done much with them yet? I don't see too many hybrids in most places, but I think we did see some pink. Uh, roses and tulips in one spot and there's some pink lilies too so they've got a few hybrids around I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything here I think um, did we walk by Brewster's that's down here somewhere oh we're behind it yeah oh got another street lamp here next to Brewster's cafe and they've taken time to lay this path everywhere which let me tell you takes a minute <laughs> if you haven't done it yourself it definitely takes a minute there's hazel looking so cute got um i kind of like all the trees through here like you can just walk through the trees it's very nice oh what is this interesting like some concrete pipes or something stacked up there that's the first time i've seen that <laughs> It's fun. It's fun coming to the Dream Islands because every single one I come to, whether it's 
decorate it up or not, I, I almost always see something I've never seen before. And me being fairly new to the game, because I never played it when it was first out. We got a police station up here. So yeah, it's super fun for me to go to dream addresses. I'm always like, ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? And I'm getting a lot of ideas for how to decorate. So super fun. Oh, here's another stump with a little flower in it. Very cute. Very, very cute. Oh, we've got flowers in this one. And a little place to rest. Breathe in the fresh, fruity, flowery air. <laughs> right next to the river. Very good placement there. All right, let's see if we can make our way back up to the plaza. Through the bamboo. And yeah, look at the size of their tree. That's a big one. So they definitely put some time and effort into this town. So thank you so much, Sonic, was it 156? <laughs> For sharing your dream address. So that we are able to see it before it's gone. All right, guys, thank you for giving me those extra few minutes to share this dream address with you. And by the way, if you check in the description, I did save a dream address for Lorian. It's not much to see at this point, but I thought I might as well do it um, before I couldn't do it. So that dream address will be in the description if you want to check it out. <laughs> but I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me and Marilee on this rainy day in Lorian. Please take a moment, if you would, to click the like button. And if you're enjoying this nostalgic Animal Crossing experience, go ahead and subscribe so you can join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.